<laughs> really haven't changed one bit, have you? Wow. Hmm? Tobias. Hey, Nick. The house. It's yours. Finally, after so long. Thanks, man. It's been years, decades at least, since I've been inside this house. I lived here when I was just a kid with my family, my mom, my siblings, my, uh, my dad. I received a call from Tobias telling me that they were finally ready with the repairs this morning. It took them long enough. <laughs> it's funny. Even after what happened, and all that time away from home, it looks just like I remembered it to be. Is my memory that precise? Uh, of course, things like the furniture and photos aren't here anymore, but hey, can't blame anybody for that. <laughs> right, right. I guess I better use that memory for something useful. I don't have the full story. Nor do I know why it happened, but I can tell you how it started. Everything else is up to you to figure out. This is the story of the night I lost my home, my childhood, and almost my family. When Five Nights at Freddy's just ended. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner, and welcome to the Joy of Creation Story Mode. Right now, I'm not the biggest fan of Five Nights at Freddy's at all at all, although I do appreciate the good story and the lore behind it, but uh, you know, it's jump scare horror, and uh, I'm not really a fan of jump scare horror. But either way, I did come across this game, the Joy of Creation, yeah, I've already said the title. And you know, I noticed it was for free, and I did hear that it had a good story behind it, and if there's one thing I do like, it's free shit. Free indie horrors that have a good story behind them. Kind of like Black Rose. Black Rose was the last decent indie horror I played on my channel. Bar, uh, Dreadout, and Araya. But Black Rose has got to be my favourite indie horror of all time. Now I'm just rambling. But, uh, either way, let's get right into it and let's see what this game has to offer. Now, more than likely, I won't be scared by it at all at all because I am a hard person to scare. There's hardly any horror films out there that will scare me. Oh, uh, wait, what, what? Choose your memory. Oh, do I do have to click here? Oh, right, bedroom, forgotten. Alright, let's get right into it. Busy. Yeah, busy. Come on, man. Let me help you out. 
All right, I could barely hear some of the background voices. But, uh, After that, Dad carried the stranger okay, to our guest room. He thanked me for convincing my parents to let him rest in our house for a night, or at least while he collected his thoughts. After that, Mom put me in bed. I can't remember much about Michael, but I knew he wasn't a bad person, or at least he didn't look, you know, dangerous. I was young, so I guess I just didn't know any better. Certainly didn't know what a burglar was, that's for sure. Um, not that I was implying he was, I never talked to him again after that. Well, except for when the storm happened. That's when I woke up on my bed, and I saw them. Alright. Oh. Wait, this is a bit odd. We seem to be surrounded by... Are we in a crib? Huh. Press X to continue. Press escape to not show again. Press space bar to stand up or down. Press left click to interact with objects. Look up while sitting and hold left click to sleep. Alright, okay, those are just the basic controls. Seems like standard Five Nights at Freddy's shit. Oh, uh, yeah, X to continue. Here we go. Hello? Hello, hello, uh, Nick? Uh, and hey, your hello, standard Nick. Five Nights at Freddy's intro. Okay, that's cool. Don't say anything back to me, okay? There are monsters around that'll hear you if you do. Now, don't be scared, Nick, okay? Listen to me, and we can defeat those monsters, all right? Okay, so these monsters might look, uh, surreal. Uh, and don't look at them too long, or you'll feel weird and see creepy things. When you do, turn on your desk lamp. This is your bed. You'll feel safe there. You stare at the scary monsters, the worse you'll feel. All right, uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, first things first. Okay, get uh, to the point. Freddy, uh, the fuzzy brown bear. Uh, he's at the window. Nick. Uh, he'll peek inside. Close your curtains and keep them closed until you hear him leave, or else he'll get inside. Uh, then oh, Bonnie, okay, got it. Uh, Ill tempered big purple bunny. Uh, keep an eye on your door. He'll be there. Oh, there's he's Bunny. Not shy at all. Uh, he will knock on the door to let you. Now at least he has manners. Good. He can't see you well in the dark, and he'll leave. Uh, oh, but make sure you're sitting down when you do that. All right. Okay. Uh, then there's the chicken. Um, that one's a little bit weird. Um, check the closets often. Uh, if she's peeking through, make sure to disable the lights. Uh, she doesn't want to be seen, but ignoring her doesn't help. Okay. I assume that's the closet she over there. Catch you with the lights on, she'll scare you and stun you. Now look, I, I know this is a lot to take in. Okay, just, just listen carefully and try to remember it, please, okay? Uh, Alright, last is Foxy. Uh, he'll be right beneath your bed, Nick. Uh, you'll hear scraping to the bottom of the crib when he's there. Uh, be watchful if you see his hook on the back of your bed, because soon enough he'll be right there next to the bed. Uh, don't look directly at him, Nick. Instead, pretend to sleep. Alright, just pretend to sleep. Yeah, just lie down without moving too much. Look up and close your eyes. Foxy sees eyes as if they're big, bright spotlights, okay? So if you pretend to sleep, he won't know you're there anymore. But don't open them until you know he's gone, okay? Okay, uh, so to recap, um, Freddy is at the window, so if you see him peeking, close the curtains until he's gone. Uh, Bonnie will knock on the door and open it afterwards. Uh, disable the lights and sit down until he leaves. Got it. Chico will try to stun you by scaring you, so if you see her peeking through the closet, shut off your lights and don't pretend to sleep. She'll think you're gone. And Foxy will appear under your crib and move upwards, so when he's next to your bed, pretend to sleep. All right, shut up. I got it. And already, the, and already the story has fallen apart. I mean, uh, the child that I heard in the opening cinematic sounded like he was. Five or six at the most, but yet I am in a crib here. That's very odd, and I think it's even weirder that Michael is communicating with said child through um, the baby monitor. And anyway, even if I was a child, I don't think I could comprehend what Michael is saying. So yeah, that kind of blows the plot right out the window right there, but I don't know. 
that's the game logic for you. What the bloody hell is that? A burglar alarm? Hey! Get the fuck out of here. I'm putting up none of your bullshit, dude. Okay, I think I keep the light on, right? Just have to turn it off for Bonnie and Chica. Should be easy. Oh, hey there, Fred Bear. What was that? Is he still out there? <gasps> the window is open. Oh no. Oh god. That's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> Freddy will get in if he sees you through the window, but he couldn't have seen me. The, the curtains were closed. I opened them for a split second that he wasn't there. Ah, man. This game is no chill. Shut up, you dirty petrophile. Okay, let's try this again. Was it because I had the light on, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I just won't open the curtains again until he's gone. Or until I have an idea that he's gone. Oh, Jesus, speak of the devil, there he is. I think he's still out there. Is he? Is he gone? Alright, okay, I think I've got Freddy nailed. He makes a, so a certain mechanical sound when he's peering through the window, and a sort of lower pitched mechanical sound when he's moving back. Alright, I think I've got it. It's just a listening game, more or less. Yeah, I got this in the bag. Boop. Boop you on the nose. <laughs> I'm childish. Very, very childish. Oh, jeez, I've... I'm only noticing now that there's a fan there, very reminiscent of the fan that was on the original Five Nights at Freddy's dashboard desk thing. That's kind of cool. Definitely a nod to it. Oh, there's Fuzzy again. What you gonna do, boy? Nothing. Okay, he's staring at me right now, but as long as I keep the curtains closed, he won't be able to get in. And he's gone. Okay, good. Okay, it's 1 a.m. Uh, what the fuck was that? Probably nothing. <gasps> oh my god, see ya. She gone? Oh, she is. Thank God. Okay, got her light on. Oh, there's Freddy again. Are you up to no good again? Oh, yeah, yeah he is. Oh, shit. I'm asleep, Mama. Two AM, just another four hours to go. I'm doing good so far. Even though I did die once. But only once. 
As long as I don't die again, oh god. You saw nothing, chica. Okay, she... She's gone. Okay, we're all good. Oh shit! Go to sleep. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, mama. Are you gone? Okay, he's gone. Hey, don't you be knock, knock, knocking on my chamber door. <gasps> oh no! I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you can't get the better of me. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. And we're already at 3 a.m. This is looking good. Who knows? I might get on to the second level after this. Freddy, fuck off. I don't think Foxy's there yet. I think he's gone. No one's barging into my room at the moment, no? Right? Yeah, I got all of you under ropes. You can't trick me. I'm way too smart. Way too smart for your bullshit. Oh shit. Oh, and there he is again. Freddy Boo Boos. How are you, Boo Boos? No, you're not getting in here to terrify me. Not today. Not today, not ever. And why the hell is that changing color? Oh, shit. Oh, I think I know what that might indicate, that little alarm clock. Thinking, not alarm clock, uh... <gasps> um, um, go to sleep. He's gone. I think that indicates my health, or my sanity. Oh god. Oh yeah, it's definitely... My sanity. Yeah, I can see my screen shaking here. Yeah, so it's definitely indicating my sanity. Oh my god. And it seems to be getting lower and lower each time I look at Freddy. Or if I stay in the dark too long, probably. Okay, so that lamp is my lifeline, essentially. Oh my god, it's only 4 a.m. Come on! Oh god. Oh shit! Okay, he's gone. Oh no, 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 no. Cheeky Slur. Oh my lord, Harry. Have mercy on me. Sort to god, if I die this far in, I'm going to break my own computer. Okay, we're at 5 a.m. Surely we can survive for another minute or so. Oh! <gasps> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fuck, Freddy's there too. <gasps> what do you do with your fucking curtains? <laughs> oh, God! Oh, 
wrap. Please don't tell me for a Siddler. Oh god. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's gone. Speaking of gone, my sanity's about to go. Oh no, 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 this is not good. <gasps> oh, come on, just another few seconds. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Oh god, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all at all. I think we might need to call a plumber about that. Ooh. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, wait, what, what? What just happened? Yes, oh, Rooney! Two years of Five Nights at Freddy's. Creator commemorates the occasion by releasing brand new behind the scenes screenshots. Learn how to make your own game, so what? Is that some sort of uh, ad or something? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it, but either way, yes, I got to the end of the night, but just barely, just by the skin of my teeth. Oh my goodness gracious me, but uh. I didn't feel terrified by it, to be honest. Not one bit, but that being said, I did enjoy it. Not gonna lie. Oh, kid, okay, and what is this? This is living room. Hmm, you know what, I'll save that for another video because I want to keep my videos under 20 minutes due to uh, slow upload speeds from where I'm living at the moment because it takes a couple of hours to upload a single video. I know for my last video, which was Crash Bandicoot, it was well over half an hour, and ideally it shouldn't be. Really shouldn't be. I shouldn't need to make a video that's over half an hour. And it took at least 10 hours to upload, and that is just way too long. That is way too long for a goddamn video to upload. Because I don't have the good fiber optic broadband, and I don't have those good upload speeds. No, sorry, Bob, I'll have to look into getting mobile broadband or something. Something with 3G or 4G upload speeds, although I am living in the middle of nowhere, so more than likely I'll have to settle with 3G. Uh, I think another thing I should address is a uh, lack of webcam for, um, you know, reactions. And that is because I don't use my webcam anymore. And the reason why I don't use my webcam is because there is a time limit on the software that I use, which is uh, Windows Movie Maker. So unless anyone has suggestions of an alternative piece of software that I can use to record my webcam, Feel free to do so in the comment section below, or maybe at some time in the future I will upgrade my webcam to a, what was it, Logitech C920. I hear they're quite good, they do uh, 1080p resolution, proper 1080p, unlike most webcams, like my own which is supposed to be 720p, but I know well it's not, it's something like 480 Ah, oh, but either way I'm rambling on, so guys you know what to do if you did like this video be sure to comment rate share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one so until next time see ya